I'm going to expose the truth about Siri and how it compares to other AI assistants on the market. Is Siri really the best voice assistant out there? Or probably more appropriately, is Siri even a good voice assistant? Or is it just a glorified calculator? Is Siri smarter than Google Assistant, Alexa, Bixby and Cortana? Or is it lagging behind in terms of functionality and versatility? And what about ChatGPT and Bard, the new conversational AIs that do amazing things with natural language? How does Siri stack up against these powerful and creative chat box? Is Siri doomed to get left behind with the new rise of AI technology? If you want to find out answers to these questions and more, then stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Back in 2011, launched on the iPhone 4S was when the world was first introduced to Siri. At the time, Siri was one of the first voice assistants to hit the market. Since then, it has pretty much expanded to every piece of hardware that Apple make, like the iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, Apple TV, and HomePod. And while Siri can do a lot of things like setting alarms, reminders, calendar events, making phone calls, launching apps, sending text, and more, it can also answer questions, tell jokes, play music, and control smart home devices. But Siri is not without its flaws. It often struggles with understanding accents, context, and natural language. It can't control as many device functions as some of its rivals, which can be a bit frustrating to users, and is often used to attack Siri's usefulness. While there is some flexibility between other voice assistants, Siri tends to favour Apple's own services over third-party ones, which can be annoying for users who prefer different apps. But is that surprising for something created by Apple? For me, I subscribe to Spotify instead of Apple Music, and I know my experience of using Spotify is so limited compared to the experience I'd have using my iPod Mini if I'd sub to Apple Music. While Siri was the base of AI assistants for a few years, it now faces stiff competition from other AI assistants that have emerged in recent years. Google Assistant, Alexa, Bixby and Cortana are some of the main contenders that offer similar or better features than Siri. And most of these voice assistants are available on various devices such as smartwatches, smart speakers, mobile phones, tablets and other devices. And even more recently, ChatGPT and Google's Bard have been making headlines for their impressive AI capabilities, which we'll talk about in a moment. Google Assistant, which actually doesn't have a name, is arguably the most advanced and versatile of them all. It can run on almost any device with Android, Chrome, Wear OS, and even on its iPhone and iPad app. It can handle almost any task or request that you can think of, from device settings to web searches to shopping to entertainment. It can also understand natural language and context better than Siri and integrate with a wide range of third-party services and apps. Alexa is the voice behind Amazon's popular Echo devices as well as some other smart speakers and displays. Alexa is mainly designed for smart home control and entertainment but can also do some basic tasks that Siri can do like setting timers, reminders and alarms. Alexa has a huge library of skills that allow it to interact with various online services and platforms. Bixby is Samsung's exclusive voice assistant that works on its smartphones, tablets, smartwatches, and smart TVs. Bixby's strength is its device control as it can access almost any option in Samsung's Android interface. You can create voice shortcuts for complex commands like Bixby's quick command feature. Bixby can do some web searches, answer questions, and launch apps, but not as good as Google Assistant or Siri in those areas. Katana is Microsoft's voice assistant that runs on Windows 10 and above PCs and laptops, as well as some smart speakers and smartphones. Katana can help you with tasks like sending emails, scheduling appointments, checking the weather, news, playing music and games and more. Katana can also sync with your Microsoft account and your devices to provide a seamless experience across platforms. But wait, there's more. There's a couple of new AI kids on the block that might give all these traditional AI assistants a run for their money. They are Google's Bard and ChatGPT, the conversational AIs. These AI chatbots can interact with you in a natural way, answering follow-up questions, creating originally generated images based on prompts, admitting its mistakes, challenging incorrect premises, and rejecting inappropriate requests. And to go even further, they can also debug code, write essays, and generate memes. While ChatGPT and Bard are not voice assistants per se, they show how far AI technology has come and how much potential it has for the future. Imagine if ChatGPT could be integrated with existing voice assistants or used as a standalone chatbot for various purposes. You can see how seriously the industry is taking this with Microsoft recently investing so much money into ChatGPT creators OpenAI 
and how Google are heavily incorporating BARD into their search engine. But how does Siri compare to ChatGPT? On its current guise, it doesn't really. Siri is still limited by its pre-programming responses and commands, while ChatGPT can generate novel and creative outputs based on its massive language model. Siri is still restricted by Apple's wall guard and approach world. ChatGPT, and especially with its incorporation with Microsoft's Bing, can access almost any online source or platform. Siri, as it is right now, is still stuck in the past while ChatGPT and Bard are paving the way for the future, and even other voice assistants just seem to be improving at a greater pace. While Siri is not doomed to get left behind with the rise of AI technology, it definitely needs to improve and innovate if it wants to keep up with the competition. Apple has been adding new features and capabilities to Siri over the years, such as Siri shortcuts, Siri suggestions, and Siri translate but it still has a long way to go before it can match or surpass other AI assistants and the chatbots out there. For me, while Siri still has the potential to be a great voice assistant, and depending on what tech you predominantly use, is for some people. It is still being left behind by quick advances in AI and incorporation by things like ChatGPT and Google's Bard. These AI models have made significant advancements in their capabilities, even over the last 12 months, and are changing the way we interact with technology. It almost feels like the other AI assistants are more likely to merge with these AI chatbots way before Siri and Apple would ever consider doing that. Siri is good at answering simple questions, performing basic tasks. However, when it comes to generating human-like text or original writing, Siri still falls short. It'll be interesting to see how Apple responds to these new developments in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave a comment below telling me what you think of Siri versus other AI assistants and versus those AI chatbots. Which one do you prefer and why? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.